traders and welcome to FX Globe Masterclass Series. I'm Thomas Mer, FX Globe Ambassador, and today Masterclass is pre-flight checklist for the newbie trader. So much like a pilot need to do a pre-flight checklist before the aircraft can take off, before a trader begins their career, there are some very important checks and steps they need to consider. This checklist is very important as it will help you start your trading journey with a better understanding of where to begin. Trading can be challenging and even frustrating at times, but if one can create a solid platform by following a starter checklist, it can help align their trading goals to their trading journey and help make the experience fun and rewarding. So let's move into our checkpoints. So checkpoint number one, what type of trader am I? There are two main elements to determine what type of trader am I? The first is, what is my personality? Your trading style will be affected by the type of person you are. If you can choose something that matches your personality, it can make for a smoother journey. If we think about track and field athletes, some are better suited for sprinting and others for long distance. For example, it's very rare to see a sprinter run in a marathon. There are three main personality elements that need to be considered. The first one is conservative or aggressive. A conservative personality is usually one that is less risk averse and need more time to process all the information before making a decision. An aggressive type personality will be the opposite of this. The second one is high or low activity. A high or low activity personality. The second one is high or low activity. A high activity personality is one that enjoys high intensity and quick tempo activities. A low activity personality prefer a slower pace with less action. The third one is patient or impatient. A patient personality is one that is content to wait for things to develop. Impatient personalities seek quick outcomes over a shorter period of time. It's important to note though that learning to be more patient in the markets will serve you well and is a great asset for any trader. The second element is what is my lifestyle? How much time can you dedicate to your trading and training? We need to be realistic here. Using the track and field example again, you may decide you want to be a marathon runner, but if you can only run, say, two training kilometers a month, you are going to find it difficult to compete effectively. Put simply, if you want to be an effective trader, you need to put in the work, dedicate time for learning and commit to the process. So think about how much time you can dedicate to trading and training and how you are going to utilize this time effectively. For five and a half days a week, at any given moment, somewhere in the world, a market is open, so you can always fit trading into your lifestyle. Which brings us to the second checkpoint. Which market shall I trade? 